I have a personal question for you. Are you an ectomorph or an endomorph? Or perhaps you're a lucky mesomorph? Welcome to another video in physical education and this is about the three body types or what is known as somatotypes. Every single person has a specific body type and knowing yours can be a great help in building the body of your dreams. Adjust your workout to your body type and you will achieve the best results. Only me focusing on body training which can be done without the quick. Let us start with exploring the body types first. There are three body types as proposed of Dr. William Sheldon, an American psychologist back in the 1940s. Let us see if you recognize yourself in one of them. First, there is the ectomorph. People with this body type are slim, usually tall and with longer limbs. Look at Usain Bolt if you want a good example. They are those lucky ones who can eat whatever they want and never get love handles or too much of a bottom. On the flip side, ectomorphs also have difficulty on gaining muscle mass. So however hard they work out, they stay lean and cannot ever buck up even if they want to. Well, at least they can drown their sorrows in a piece of cake or two. Then there are endomorphs. These are the exact opposite of the previous type. Short, stocky, and with a tendency to gain weight from every single crumb eaten after lunch. Look no further than Danny DeVito for a vivid example of an endomorph. These guys struggle to slim down and their prominent gut and wide hips might be killing them if they walked on the athletic path. And finally, the fortunate mesomorphs. Why fortunate? Well, because they have this perfect balance of muscle and fat along with natural ability to change their body to their liking and fast. Chris Evans is the perfect mesomore. Just one look at his roles in Avengers and Captain America is enough to see why. Mesomorphs can rather easily gain muscle mass and become fit in no time. On the other hand, they lose their bulk as easily too. So it is not like they take a walk in the park and come home with shredded legs. Life's easy for them, but not that easy. Of course, these three body types are not categorical, and you can find yourself somewhere in between. So here are some tips to follow and exercises to perform according to your body type. Number 1. Ectomorph Regimen With this body type, you have no trouble in losing weight but when you try to gain muscle mass, you only end up with lean muscle becoming thin and wiry. If you want to bulk up a bit, here's what you should do. First and foremost, start packing up on proteins. Proteins are basically the building blocks for your muscles, and combined with carbs, they will help you gain mass in the end. The trouble here is that you need to be prepared to eat a lot than you have probably eaten before because your metabolism is generally faster than any of other people and you need more nutrients to fill your sinews. So help yourself and start munching on protein and carbohydrate rich foods. Be careful though not to overeat fat foods because despite fat being good for you too, Having too much of it may slow down your muscle building process. Secondly, concentrate on strength training and heavy lifting. Compound movements are your best friends. Basic exercises like deadlift, squats, crunches, and push-ups engage large muscle groups, helping you build your physique faster and easier. Isolation exercises, on the other hand, will only slow down your progress as they only see one or two muscles working. And thirdly, do not overdo the cardio. Running, swimming, or cycling is nice and all. But cardio workout makes you lose weight, not gain it. And why would you want to lose to any more of your gain when you are slim as a branch? Still, do not overdo it does not mean you do not have to do it at all. 
Low intensity cardio helps you get your blood pumping, delivering nutrients to your muscle tissues. That is, even if you are packing it with proteins and carbs, they will have better effect on your body if it's warmed up correctly. All in all, if you are an ectomorph, concentrate on eating a lot, focus on strength exercises, and go easy on cardio. This way, you'll see excellent results very soon. Number 2. The Endomorph Regimen For this type, it is typical to be heavy around the waist with smaller shoulders. You have genetic factors to blame for that. In fact, there are fat storing mechanisms at work inside you that prepare you for hungry times. So it is better to focus on how to shift your weight from the waist to the upper body and make your overall shape balance. I will not be hiding bad news from you, endomorphs have the hardest time losing weight. On the bright side, you do not really have to run for hours on end, drowning the treadmill in your sweat. Certified trainers will produce a long steady cardio workout does not really help burn fat. Interval training is much more effective and takes much less time than simple running or cycling. Sprinting is a great burst technique that you can adopt to lose weight faster. Oh, and forget about crunches. They work for other body types but not yours. Crunches are good for shaping the muscles but they do not burn fat at all. In order to bulk up your upper body and make your looks less pearlite, you should concentrate on getting rid of that belly of yours first and then do some intense weight lifting. Heavy weights and cardio will work wonders for you in the long run. Just be prepared for this run to be long. Endomorph's training routine is not exactly a piece of cake. Speaking of cakes, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to pastry. If you want to lose weight and become fit, you should cut your calorie intake. In fact, the lower your calorie intake, the faster you should be shedding pounds, but overdoing it is not a good thing. Now, summarizing all the things I just told you, go for intense interval training, ditch long running sessions, bulk up your shoulders with weights, and cut your calorie intake. But of course, there should be very few carbs and protein in your diet. Number 3. Mesomorph Regimen Mesomorphs are the easiest to train by far. If you belong to this type, you probably already have balanced looks and you might have noticed how simple it is for you to grow your muscle mass or lose fat. Even though mesomorphs have won the genetic jackpot, you can still better yourself. In terms of training, you should first of all stop procrastinating and start actually working out. Your body types allows you to cut yourself a lot of slack without much harm, and most mesomorph abuse this feature of their body. So in order to make the most of your build, train to achieve. That means you should concentrate on doing everything in moderation, but setting certain goals for yourself. Moderately intense cardio workouts are good for you, and you can easily maintain long running sessions if you want to. Strength training is also about moderate to heavy weights with number of reps from low to relatively high. That is, you take heavy weights, then 4 to 6 reps should suffice. If you lift lighter ones, feel free to go up up to 15 to 18 reps. You should be able to do that quite easily. With your inborn stamina and strength, intense workouts with clearly set goals will bring out the best you can get from your body. As for the diet, it can be rather relaxed since you do not tend to gain weight as fast as endomorphs and do not need too much on carb and proteins like ectomorphs do. Be generally happy if you belong to mesomorphs because you can eat whatever you want. As a quick recap, set yourself some goals to achieve, indulge in moderate training, and eat to your heart's content without being too keen in fats and carbs. But what if you start training with bodyweight exercise? Would you be able to achieve the body of your dreams with this type of training? Well, that's another story for another video in physical education.